Welcome to Project H2O, a quantum water rejuvenation initiative. This is a global challenge for people ages 2 to 102. Water has a memory and carries within it our thoughts and prayers, as you yourself are water. No matter where you are, your prayers will be carried to the rest of the world. Masaru Emoto. This world is such a beautiful place with water found on every continent and in every human being. And these times that we are living in are truly amazing with so many incredible advanced technologies at our fingertips. It can become easy to forget the natural quantum technology that we already possess within our unique human body and the energy fields surrounding us and every other living thing around us at all times. All around you exists your own personal electromagnetic field known as your aura. The way you feel about the thoughts that you're thinking and the words that you're hearing or saying get translated into vibrations and sent out to interact with your environment through your aura. That means you're always interacting with other living energy fields, always either improving or contaminating your surroundings with the quality and tone of your personal vibrational field. And you are always sending and receiving information in this way all the time. By holding the intention of peace towards water, by thinking, speaking, and acting with the intention of peace towards water, water can and will bring peace to our bodies and to the world. Dr. Masaru Emoto. This is Dr. Masaru Emoto, a Japanese researcher, author, and entrepreneur best known for his research on water. Dr. Emoto's groundbreaking work has provided humanity with evidence that the vibrational contents of the thoughts that we think and the words that we speak directly affects the water within and around us. Why water? Well, because the human body is made up of 80% water, the same amount of water currently covering Earth's surface. In short, water is everywhere. So how did he proved his theory. Dr. Emoto began by exposing contained water samples to specifically chosen words, phrases, music, and prayers. He then froze the water, revealing the molecular structure within the frozen crystal formations. These crystal formations, once photographed, gave Dr. Emoto the phenomenal and astonishing proof he'd been searching for. In his first experiment, Dr. Emoto exposed contained samples of water to specific words and phrases that we humans use every day. Some of these words were of positive meanings and vibrations, and some were of negative meanings and vibrations. The results are astonishing and speak for themselves. Here's water exposed to negative low vibrational words. I will kill you on the left and you fool on the right. Now take a look at what happens when higher vibrational words like compassion and thank you are put to the test. Here's what the negative phrase you fool looks like. As opposed to the positive higher vibrational words like wisdom, truth, and eternal. And here's a look at what the word evil does to the molecular structure of water. And here are the words for war and peace translated on a molecular level. As you can see, the words and phrases with positive vibrations create spectacular geometric patterns within the water's molecular structures. While the words and phrases that held negative messages and low vibrations created chaotic molecular structures with dysfunction and depletion evident in both color and formation. 
To quote the movie, what the bleep do we know anyway? If that's what words can do to water, imagine what words can do to you. Now consider this. The average human mind thinks up to 80,000 words in one day. Now ask yourself this. How many of your internal conversations hold positive messages and how many are fueled by fear, worry, anger, frustration, hopelessness, or judgment? So what would happen if we made a more conscious choice about the words we speak and think to ourselves? Project H2O invites you to do something different like trying our quantum water rejuvenation made easy, a global challenge for you. And the best part is, it's free. Project H2O offers you easy, powerful, transformative approaches to help you regenerate and improve life force energies at a molecular level. How, you may be asking? Take our challenges and find out for yourself, or better yet, tell some friends and multiply your results. Project H2O Challenge 1, tape higher vibrational words to your drinking glasses and water bottles. How fast would your health improve this way? Project H2O invites you to imagine the quantum, subtle improvements that you could start making today. Project H2O Challenge 2. Write higher vibrational words and phrases on rocks and place them safely near stream beds, river beds, swimming pools, or any other place where you feel the water could use some rejuvenation. Just imagine how quickly the wildlife that relies upon those waters will benefit from your quantum act of kindness. Project H2O Challenge 3, tape higher vibrational words and phrases to your pet's drinking water or bird baths. Just imagine how quickly the health of the creatures you care for will benefit from your random act of quantum kindness. In his next set of experiments, Dr. Emoto exposed contained water samples to the vibrations created by various forms of music. Once again, freezing the samples after exposure in order to capture any changes within the water's molecular structure. Here's a look at how water responds to Beethoven, Bach, and the Kawachi folk dance. And here is how water responds to heavy metal music and lyrics with angry themes and words. Now just imagine the enhancement that you could bring to the waters all around you through the quantum sharing of beautiful music. Now that you know the power of music, what will you do differently? Project H2O Challenge 4 invites you to play more intentionally upbeat music to yourself, your pets, your plants, your people, and the water around you. Apply the knowledge of how you feel in response to certain music vibrations, and then share this with others. In his final experiments, Dr. Emoto took water samples from known polluted water, photographing the molecular structures of the crystal formations captured on film. He then prayed over the polluted water, freezing and capturing the molecular structures once again in an effort to see if there was any change in the crystal formations before and after prayer. As you will see, the evidence is exceptional and inspiring. Here's a look at polluted water before and after prayer. Here is an image of two of the most polluted water sources in Japan the Biowaka Lake on the left, and the Yoda River on the right. Before prayer. And here is evidence of the crystalline structure within unpolluted water and 
water that has been blessed by prayer. And here is a look at bottled water before and after 500 people sent positive thoughts to the water sample. Project H2O asks, now that you have seen what happens to the molecular structures of water exposed to the vibrations created by gratitude and appreciation shared through prayer, what if anything will you do differently? Why not try challenge number five? Simply bless your water with love and gratitude. It doesn't have to be fancy. Simply thank your drink for its life force energy enhancing your life force energy. Keep going and bless your food too. Thank your food's life force for enhancing and supporting your life force energy. Bless the waters you swim in or play on with your gratitude. Bless the waters you live around with your love and appreciation. Bless the waters around the world. Do what inspires you. Form a prayer or meditation group. Multiply your quantum acts of kindness. Your loving vibrations will amplify your abilities and each other's. Show this to some kids you know and then watch them go as their inspiration comes alive. Remember, the simple approaches work best for this quantum rejuvenation project because the biggest component is your big beautiful heart. And that we as humans can consciously choose to enhance our quantum auric output anytime we wish through choosing higher vibrational words, music, and prayers. For we have been divinely designed to be divinely aligned with our surroundings. We are not just in this world, we are an integral part of this world. For water is the mirror and has the ability to show us what we cannot see. It is the blueprint for our reality, which can change with a single positive thought. All it takes is faith if you're open to it. Masaru Imoto. Thank you for watching. We hope you join Project H2O.